Hi, Bill McGarvey here with another RCU on the go click tip I call kick plate conundrum. They're intended to protect door materials from the people that pass through. When they look good, they add to the professional appearance of the floor, the door, the rest of that particular space. But when they look bad, they can really take away from the appearance. Kick plates take abuse from people's feet, hand trucks, flatbed carts, cleaning equipment, and sometimes the cleaning process itself. Let's think about that for a minute. Our actions are supposed to produce a cleaner, healthier space, not make matters worse. But when we're sloppy with stripper solutions and floor coatings, even our daily cleaning processes, we need to look no farther than the mirror to find the responsible party. But more importantly, how do you fix it? If the problem is stripper and finish, you'll need these items to make it better. First and foremost, personal protective equipment consisting of eye protection, gloves, possibly some knee pads, or at least something soft to kneel on. Your knees will thank you later. You'll need a trash liner or a tarp to protect the floor, tape and maybe some more plastic to protect the door, some foaming baseboard stripper, and a soft scrubbing pad. I like to use the center of a red floor pad, possibly a blue, but never a stripping pad because it may be too aggressive. A pail with some plain water and a few wipers for rinsing and drying. And of course, our old friends, the wet floor signs. As you get ready, prop the doors open if you can, and if not, make sure you've got wet floor signs on both sides of the door. If they're double doors like these, only do one side at a time. After protecting the floor and the door and placing your signs to warn people that you're working in the area, apply your baseboard stripper and let it dwell for a few minutes. If you happen to get some on the floor or on the door, wipe it off as soon as possible to avoid damaging either one. After a few minutes, scrub lightly with the pad, making sure to go with the grain of the metal. Metal kick plates and push plates have a grain to them, and they typically runs in the same direction as the long sides. Horizontally down here, vertically up here. When you think you've got all the buildup off of your kick plates, we want to rinse them with a damp wiper. And then dry them off. Hopefully at this point, you've given your kick plates a fresh appearance. If there's still some old buildup, you may need to go through this process another time or two. Now that you've fixed this problem, let's keep them clean on a routine basis by wiping with a microfiber cloth and a neutral multi-purpose cleaner or even your glass cleaner. And be aware of splashing or bad technique the next time the floor is being stripped and refinished. One way or another, every facility is in the customer service business and customers respond to clean. Studies have shown that the cleanliness and appearance levels impact the experience of the customer. And we all strive for happy customers. Hopefully these tips will help you go from a kick plate conundrum to complimentary kick plates in no time at all. Thanks for listening and until next time, let's get it clean but safely 